so when is it the same point of your app that it is still as so you can see, you should be getting this user email address, password, and password confirmation. So the username should be suppose like Ryan one, and I get this as this one. But I get the wrong password. I use this password as well. This password is a, a submit. So I should be getting this password as invalid. Again, for the same thing, suppose I give it, give this right. But I give this wrong. I should be getting. Uh, but it is still short. So you should be getting the email address is badly formatted because this is not a valid email. So now that we have all this, we can just register the user. So this is a new user. And we submit it. It should take you inside and it should be giving you a random avatar. So you could sign out, and when you sign out, you should be taken to the login page. And suppose you are a new one, you should have a register or you can just log in again. So now we have this. And we enter our password. And boom, we are inside. So now in this over here, we should be having already created channels here. Suppose we need to create a new channel. So this is the model for creating the channel. So here we can have movies. All stuff got just some random description. So as you can see, there is a new channel for movies here. And this is the metadata panel that you can see. So this has all the channel details. This has the top posters of this channel, and this is who created this one. So, as you can see, this is this is a new channel, so it's still loading. So we can we should, so there is an additional animation that you can give, like this is loading right now. So you can give that. So this is these are the public channels. So here you can type your own message like hi, hello, and press enter. So this is a keyboard shortcut that you can give, or you can give hello all, and you can give uh, emoji like this. This is done using the emoji mod in your uh, an npm package. So this is th this, and then these are the private messages. So these are all the users apart from your cryo phone. So cryo one, two, three are there, and all of them are offline. So these are red. So another thing, you can start the, these channels. So when you start it, you will have this in the start channel. So you can have easy access to them. And when you load the page, for instance, you should be getting, you should be directly hitting on this random channel or any channel of a preference. So if you unstar this, this will be gone from you. Now you should have the option of changing the avatar of the user. So you can just choose a image and a PNG or JPEG image. So here, this is the image. You can preview the image and you can then change the avatar. So that is all, that is also a feature that you can see. And this one should be mentioned like who is being logged in. And then you should have a search feature. Like if you search for new, you will get all messages that are for new. And then you should have upload media where you can choose the file and you can just send it in the stand. So as you can see, I have just sent this media on this channel. So this is pretty much all the features that are there in this app. Another one, a small one, uh, rather not needed, but still good. Like you can have color palette for your whole app. So when you click on this, you will be able to get this. So, and as you can see, they have a loading screen also when it's loading. And just another last aspect is like when you are sending, there should be a progress bar like this. So that is also something you can work on. And then I'm also having timestamps for each messages. The total number of users are also mentioned. 
and this is pretty much everything that is there so suppose now you go to this channel so here you will have you are having who created this one so this is created by cryo one who is the top poster only one post is there what is the channel title this is the channel title and if you hit go to firebase for now you can see all these messages and everything that is with there it is being logged in in your real time database so as you can see here all the messages are being stored so content is there the timestamp is there which user has given that is also there so everything is pretty much being logged into the user and also the dms suppose i'm sending a new message to cryo one tag whatsapp so when i reload this i'll be getting a nice and new message that has been logged into the collection you can go to private users and you can see that i yeah what's up same message being logged into this one so make sure you have this also and yeah pretty much this is what the site should look like and suppose any user is logged in from some other site for example let me just show you so now cry cry of you can see cry one is online as i logged in from another mode so as you can see it's locked it's showing online the green button showing online so yeah pretty much this is what is to be done at a basic level and you can keep improving this by all the necessary things that you find are